let's talk about the brain okay welcome back to episode two of what the buzz is all about so let's talk about how i got to this point so i played 14 years of professional golf uh spent 10 years bouncing around on the mini tours then spent four years on what's now the corn ferry tour went to q school 11 times um and then I quit. So what brought about the quit was, it was, it was completely mental. Um, I developed the yips with the driver. Yips are normally associated with touch shots, short putts, long putts, chip shots, that kind of thing. And for me, I went to bed one night and I could hit driver. And I woke up the next morning and I couldn't. Uh, driver was the best club in my bag for 25 years. And all of a sudden, I couldn't hit it anymore. This was all brought about by situations taking place off the golf course. Um, stressors off the golf course can very easily infect things that are going on on the golf course and for me it was pretty simple I got audited and through the course of that I found out that I had hired truly the world's worst most inept accountants and so that more or less blew up my world and it took the best club in my bag and said nope no more you're done can't hit this anymore I would stand up on a hole and I would try to hit driver and I had one of two possible outcomes I had a 90 yard block and I had the reactionary, I don't want to block at 90 yards, snap hook. I tried everything to get out of it. I tried swinging harder, swinging easier, stiffer shafts, weaker shafts, longer shafts, shorter shafts, heavier shafts, lighter shafts, more loft, less loft. I mean, I tried, I tried everything that I could do, you know, to make a physical change and I was trying to make a physical change to a mental problem. And so at the end of 2008, I quit. Eventually in 2014, November, my wife and I worked back to Pennsylvania where she's from. And seven years away from tournament golf, I got the itch, yeah, seven year itch. And I decided that I wanted to try and play a tournament again. And I had no idea how this was gonna go. But trying to build a teaching business in Harrisburg starting in November is not exactly prime teaching time. So I had a lot of time to myself. And I put in a lot of hours on the range. And through all that work and all that time and all those balls, I learned that, well, I taught myself that my body is better than my brain says it is. <laughs> my brain's still working on it. It is still working on me. Like I'm, I've gotten to where I wanted to be. I've won a state open. I've won a bunch of other stuff, and I feel pretty darn confident in my golf game most of the time. Right now, it's not so great, but my brain is my brain's still chattering negative gibberish in my head all the time you know I get up on even on easy driving holes I mean I stand up to hit a tee shot with a driver and my head goes you can't do this you don't have this shot all I can do is say shut up brain watch this right and there are places where I don't challenge my brain there are holes that I cannot hit a driver on you give me out of bounds tight down the right hand side it's a three wood all day long like when I know I can't hit driver I'm not gonna hit driver uh, 
I've got a 12 and a half degree three wood that goes plenty far and uh, I'm not sacrificing a whole lot. If I got to hit seven iron where I was going to hit nine or nine iron where I was going to hit gap wedge, so be it. You know, the brain's, <laughs> the brain's a tough thing to overcome. And uh, it's taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of work to get to where I am. I'm just I'm not able to turn the ball over with the irons the way I used to. Which, which, it's kind of what I wanted. I've spent all this time over the last few years trying to take out this big right to left move that I've always had. And now that I've done it, I want it back. <laughs> Go figure, you know? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. Uh, I've got the York Open. That's coming up. And uh, we'll see how things go there. I mean, I, I've played one round of golf between PA Open and the York Open. So that wasn't a lot of practice. Anyway, um, you know, that's kind of what brought me to this, to this point. Um, the struggles of, of fighting through something that was a career ender and, and trying, to, trying to bring it back after that period of time. It's definitely been, it's definitely been interesting. Uh, lots of anxiety. I'm happy that the anxiety is gone. You know, I'm not, I'm not scared to death to hit a golf shot anymore. I'm not scared to death to hit a driver anymore. The negative chatter is still there, but the anxiety is not. So, um, you know, if I still had that anxiety, I probably wouldn't have the desire or the drive to try and, you know, take this to the next level. But, um, you know, it's gone. If I got a three, hit a three, but I got to hit a three, but that's fine. No problem. I can deal with that. Um, it doesn't make me less of a player. I have to hit a three wood off the par five. Or a par four. Or a par three. Just going to keep through the process. We'll see what happens over the next few days. And, uh, you know, I'll give you, an, I'll give you a report on the, uh, on the York Open. Should be fun. Uh, we got a new venue this year. Regents Glen. All right, y'all. That's it for tonight. Uh... Everybody be safe, wear your masks, be good to each other, and uh, talk to you after the York Open.